Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this last uh, installment of uh, Trilio Connector, we will be discussing about the voice call. Um, since there are many other uh, functionalities which are being provided by Trilio, so uh, it will be a bit difficult to cover all the things, but I am just touching the basic ones. So in order to start the discussion about the voice call, let's first jump into our uh, presentation again. So. Uh, voice call is being provided by Twilio uh, as a programmable voice feature and you can make a call using your uh, Twilio uh, trial phone number and it can be pointed to any other uh, mobile number or any other uh, landline or any other communication means. Okay. You can use AI to build the IVR as well, interactive voice response system. And how to do that? We have to get a number. In case uh, you are not being registered, it will ask here itself uh, get a new Twilio number. So in my case, it is being already there. So it is showing me congratulations, you already have a Twilio number. After that, you can select one of your programming languages. I will go with Java. And the third one and the most important is like make and receive calls to your Twilio phone number and uh, it will it will uh, show you how to manage an incoming and how to manage an outgoing call so uh, let's discuss about this outgoing call so it basically initiate a rest API call to tvlio then it ask uh, for your app for instruction via webhook and then the server reply back uh, with the instruction written in twiml and uh, in this example, uh, Twilio calls party A's phone to deliver the appointment reminder. So it can be an appointment reminder or you can automate uh, the, the speech which will be delivered over the call or you can uh, directly pick up and send some standard template uh, over the call as well. And it comes up with all the other things like recording and all other features. Okay, so let's now jump to our AnyPoint Studio. So guys, this is the AnyPoint Studio and this is the voice call which we are going to discuss. This is will, this will be a HTTP uh, call and but it will be a post in, met, in, in, in its method. And in the general, you can see the path is being uh, mapped to voice call. After that, there is a transform message which I have uh, pasted from uh, from the uh, um, from the uh, palette side and it looks out for the URL encoded format of three fields: URL, to, and from. So URL will be uh, remaining like this. I should have taken this from the uh, from the uh, secure file as well, but that's okay because this is nothing, um, um, uh, anything to hide. This is very much normal. Just in case uh, you are wondering why it is demo, this is because I am using the trial version of Twilio. Apart from that, two number uh, will be the number on which the call will be made, and the from will be your Twilio side of the account. After that, there is a logger just to print out the URL encoded payload. After that, there is a request which will be made uh, onto the, this request is quite similar to what we have followed in the case of WhatsApp uh, functionality. The only difference will lie over in the calls.json. So earlier it was messages.json, now it will be calls.json and the method will be post. The username will be the same as in the URA parameters. That is your account SID and uh, the headers will be the content type of URL encoded. So once the call is being made successfully, uh, I have taken it as the uh, target variable under the voice. So in the transform message after that, I am picking up only the specific values like from, to, SID, status, direction, like it is outgoing or, in, or incoming, start time, account SID, end time. And the two number that is my uh, my personal number, I have masked it using the DW util values. And finally, there is a logger just to uh, log the message. I will just check if it is in the running format. Yes, it is running. So let me quickly go to the postman. And this is the voice call. And you can see it is a raw JSON format. To and from are being set up from the Twilio environment variable. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to call I'm going to call on this particular number. Just give me a moment, guys. So let me click on the send button. So here you can see the status is queued and the direction is outbound API. 
and uh, it should have been called me by now but let's see uh, I got the call from on my uh, other number uh, on my handset rather than on my uh, machine so let me do once more I'm clicking on the send button once again so here you can see uh, the uh, voice call is been uh, coming to towards my uh, phone so i am giving the option of accept or decline so i will decline it for now and